Welcome engineers, my name is Travis IQ, and today we're talking the Phantom Wallet for the Solana blockchain, specifically in the context of receiving NFTs, like the one I'm giving away for my 500 sub giveaway in the previous video. If not, NFTs in general, or receiving and sending Solana-based tokens as well. Let's take a look. Okay, so an intro to the Phantom Wallet for the Solana blockchain. Why are we using a Phantom Wallet? There's some other wallets that are useful on the Solana blockchain, I suppose, or used on the Solana blockchain. I prefer Phantom. It's got a nice solid interface. It's got great integrations and it's got some, uh, some really good utility in terms of interfacing with NFTs, support for wallets, support for uh, wallet connection to DEXs and some other things. But realistically, we're just concerned with getting the wallet installed and understanding where you might see an NFT if I were to drop you one, for example. That being said, uh, up here in the top left, I Googled the Solana wallet in Bing just because I'm on a Microsoft platform right here. And as a result, what you can actually see is Solana information. And like the second one down is Phantom, a friendly Solana wallet built for DeFi and NFTs on the Solana blockchain. Why aren't we using some other wallet that you might've heard of? Some other like smart contract wallet or some other layer one wallet like a MetaMask or something like this. The reason is because uh, MetaMask does not have a Solana integration currently. The MetaMask is a pretty good utility wallet for Ethereum and it, it is probably the de facto on Ethereum, but we are not on Ethereum, right? Solana is a different blockchain. That being said also, I have had some friends confuse and some colleagues confuse Phantom spelled here, P-H, right, with Phantom this right this is a layer one blockchain i would call it a large cap layer one in the top 50 or so of market cap for these layer ones it does some that has introduced some new functionality that is not a wallet right it's a layer one blockchain with its own token and whatnot which we're not going to talk about phantom is a wallet on the solana blockchain okay p-h-a-n-t-o-m so if we click on here and bring us to phantom.app, you can go here. I'll link this directly in the in the description too. Now we have a download button, right, or add to Edge. And this'll this will show up depending upon what you use, right? Edge, Chrome, Firefox. I am using all Chrome variants here. That's what I use, and I would suggest you use that as well. But you don't have to, I don't think. But anyway, uh, I would. So add to Edge. I'm going to allow extensions from other stores and allow myself to add to Chrome and add this extension. It's downloading the Phantom extension here and it's gonna ask me to create a new wallet. I am going to create a new wallet. It gives me a seed phrase here which I am not going to display, it's, it's blurred out. Not that it really matters, I'm probably not gonna use this wallet specifically for anything other than a demo purpose here, but I have blurred it out. And, okay, I've saved it. I'll put in a password. Agree to some, agree to some terms and conditions. It's gotta be eight characters long. Now we're good. And it's giving me some keyboard shortcuts to open up my Phantom Wallet at any time that I want. You can use these keyboard shortcuts, probably change them to something else if you're some unique computer uh, wallet utilizer. Uh, that being said, it's going to ask if you want to finish your tweet about it or things like this. I'm not going to do that because we're just doing it for a demo. And I've now got my wallet here. I've got one wallet. I can deposit soul. I can do all kinds of things here. So if you notice here, there's actually some tabs on the bottom. So this is, it's got a little dollar sign here. And so this would be an indicator of coins that are held. And so you can hold different coins on the Solana blockchain. Uh, be aware, just a side note, not that you know it's particular. it pertains particularly to NFTs right now, um, but if you were to hold, let's say something like a stable coin like USDC in a Solana wallet, that USDC would not be, that USDC is unique to that layer one, right? So it's not, it's USDC on, on Ethereum, USDC on Solana, USDC on Cardano. And if you notice when those other uh, backbones, layer ones like Cardano and Solana introduced smart contract functionality, I think Solana had it basically from the jump, but when they introduced that functionality, those the USDC migrated to those, those layer ones as well, right? So that there was some liquidity there for stable coins. Anyway, irrelevant. 
That being said, so you could have other coins in here if you wanted or soul, right? You don't have to have them in there to accept NFTs, although you are going to need some Solana if you were to go if you were to transfer an NFT somewhere, which I would be I would need if I were transferring an NFT to you, for example. The other tabs here would be an NFT tab. So this is a cool thing about the Phantom Wallet that I actually really like. That is that is unique to Phantom when compared to something like Meta, uh, MetaMask, which is an NFT or a collectible section. So if I were to send you an NFT, for example, for completing the 500 sub giveaway, when you gave me this wallet address, it would sit right here, right? What wallet address do I need from you? Or what wallet address do you need if someone were to send you something on Solana, whether it were a coin or a an NFT? It's this wallet address right up here. And if I can, if I want to, I can take and go, just so you can see the whole thing in aggregate, I can just paste it right in here. And this is the entire wallet address. And so this is your public key. We've actually talked about this on previous videos when we talked about Bitcoin and Bitcoin introduction, uh, an introduction to Bitcoin and Bitcoin custody. Okay, so I've got my wallet address. That, that, that brings me to a second point here. Uh, you could also do things like transfers. So if you wanted to send or receive a token, remember I said USDT or USDC or something like this. Serum is a, <laughs> a DEX or an AMM on, built on the Solana blockchain. Anyway, you can, you can do this with transfers, right? We have some other settings and recent activity a recent activity tab and settings and changes if you wanted to if you were to if you were to a dev or you wanted to mess around on other networks that were solana based let's say develop develop developer networks right dev nets or another test net you can actually do that too or a local host so a local development environment if you're interested in those things that's under settings here Finally, you can look at trusted apps I'm not going to go into this cuz we're not doing dexes or anything like this we're really more concerned with NFTs so here's our, our collectibles section here. The last thing is, and this is a, a very common suggestion. If you ever if you if you ever look this up in other like Solana wallets or uh, Phantom Wallet introductions, what what people will tell you is to use multiple wallets. And so I actually talked about this when I talked about when I when I talked about this in, in terms of Bitcoin as well, which is these wallets are considered hot wallets, right? So they're literally like the wallets that you carry with you everywhere when you're on the internet, right? This is connected to your browser and it's a tab that you can connect to different websites for DEXs or for NFT integration. And if it's if it's being carried around with you, you probably don't want to carry everything around with you all the time in terms of like monetary value. And you also probably don't want to keep it all in one place. And so if you were to like get into, let's say an, an NFT ecosystem in Solana, for example, and you had a couple of these things and they were worth some money to you, right? What you probably want to do is actually have multiple wallets. And it's actually really easy in the Phantom wallet to generate multiple wallets and to switch between them. So you can add or connect wallets here as well. And I would suggest that you do that if you're participating in the NFT ecosystem, even if it's just mine, right? Have one for my NFT that I send you and have one for yourself that you use for all of your other things. So we can add a wallet and create a new wallet or, imp or import a private key if you so chose. I would go over these in another time. I will go over these in another time. So I create a new wallet. Now I have wallet two. If we look here, I can actually flash in between these wallets. They have their own IDs. They have their own public keys, their own addresses. I guess I could call it an ID, but it's really more, it's a public key or a, or a wallet address. And now, now they are completely independent of one another. It's literally like holding two physical wallets and having different things in each one of them, which is pretty cool. Phantom is the preferred Solana NFT wallet or wallet in general of that. Your wallet address is right at the top. Click to copy. If you just click on it, it'll say copied. Click to copy it if you want to send it. If you want to send someone that address, where it's basically your like like your physical address, but it's your digital address. Where to send tokens or NFTs? Use multiple wallets for safety. Wallets for safety. For safety. And don't confuse with other things named Phantom. There are other there are other tokens and utilities in the space named Phantom with different spellings and different and different tokens. The Phantom wallet has no token either, by the way. I actually heard the devs, the primary developer talking about this on a podcast where they don't even intend to release a token in any in any of the near future. So if you see this you're, and it has an associated token, that's the wrong project as well. 
Make sure it's the wallet and not some other thing, right? And five, engineer, break stuff. Have fun. See you next time. I'm out.